Okay, so this is how you effectively play as France and take out Germany as France in Rise of Nations. So, this is some footage I got today where I basically I took over Germany uh, and then I, I guess I was established in Europe and I had some colonies. So, here, so first thing you want to do when you get here, right? So, Germany right here, like here, right? So, Germany usually friends the UK, Spain. Italy and Russia what you want to do is you want to trap them into a truce because you may be able to take on Germany at once Germany is already stronger than you you may be able to take it on but you cannot take on both Germany and the UK so early on in Spain so what you want to do is you want to friend you want to friend them you want to stop being you want to ally them then you want to unally them that'll put them into the truce and then you can ally them again that is a really OP strategy I learned. And it's crucial. So here, I, I checked Germany's allies. So first thing you want to do, first I did the factories, but um, justifying on Monaco is probably the best thing to do because you get a lot of money. And you basically double your treasury if you just defeat this little nation. You can do the same for Endor, but I don't think that's the best strategy. And the second thing to do after you um, you annex Monaco, you want to put your factories up. You want to put a motor factory and a steel factory. And it's best to memorize how much you need, how much resources you need. Like, for example, you need, I think it's 0.1 titanium. So you should probably buy, like, one titanium. And I'm pretty sure it's, like, four iron you need. And France has a bit of iron. So you need to buy, like, two iron. And... And Tungusin, I'm pretty sure you only need like one of those. Yeah, as you can see there, it just it just showed um what you need for steel factories. You need yeah 0 0.2. Yeah, yeah. So now, so next things next step after this is basically building an army. You want 150 alt artillery for this at least. I mean, you should probably do more, but I used to like only do like 100. And, uh, it doesn't really affect it that much. I'm not sure. But I haven't really tested that out. But, you want to get, you want to max out your troops. No, you probably don't want, you probably want, like, 400 troops. Here, I max it out. Um, how I did it so fast was that I highlighted the country. Wait. So, yeah, here, I highlighted the country. No, wait. I, I hi okay, so, yeah, here I get my artillery. So how I do it, I highlight the country, and then I press, I think I hold alt, and then it selects all those cities at once, so you can just spam artillery. So, next thing you want to do, since we would already do that, we just want to make sure, yeah, we already did that, that we're in truces with, um, uh, with countries that are pretty scary, especially Russia. Russia could easily help out Germany, and we have no chance. So here, just a fire war with Germany. Getting into a war with Germany. Alright, so what I did here, why it only says 70, I did something called debt stacking. You base, I'm not sure how effective it is now, but I know it used to be really effective. So what you do, you select your troops and you press split a few times, not too much, but you do it a few times, and so that your troops stay entrenched when you're standing still, of course. But I, I don't know, it's like some weird mechanic that, like, I guess the damage. Um, distribution, whatever, I don't know. And, um, it, it's just more effective, basically. That's all you need to know. So, I made some tanks. You should, yeah, I mean, you should probably do this right when you get into war. So, watch. Germany, we declare war in Germany. You see, the UK is his ally, but he cannot interfere with us because we're in the truce. Even though the UK is our ally, he would normally be able to interfere intervene on the side of Germany but since we're in the truce with the UK there's nothing you can really do so so bam so here we go the artillery is just pounding them out so since our troops are entrenched most players uh, no offense if you uh, well most players who play like Germany and stuff I, I don't know what to say I guess they aren't that smart because it's a lot easier nation to play and you can easily dominate. 
but there's not much strategy. A lot. That's the thing with most people who play this game. They don't put much strategy into their whatever, you know. So what I did here, I started to death stack. But you see, he's bringing all his troops here, and he gets a little bit impatient. He brings all his troops there, but he's just getting those troops are just getting attacked by this artillery. So he's just losing a bunch of troops. You see, look how fast that goes down. And that's only 150. I think this is only 100. But I did that sack it. Let's do a little bit more damage. Ne Netherlands is my ally. So I wanted to... I didn't want to flank Berlin. Because he was just going to send his entire force over there. But I just wanted to... Um, I guess to cause some trouble for him. So, eventually... Eventually, he gets impatient. And then... Um, oh, there's some troops there. I don't know what they were doing. I know those were a lot. But I was able to... Um, to get those to disappear so he just basically rushes now this is 150 artillery he rushes my entrenched troops and he has a lot he has probably around 700,000 troops and bam they're just gonna get mowed down and we're barely gonna take any damage because entren entrenching is like extremely overpowered I don't understand why it's like that maybe needs a nerf but Eh, it doesn't really because you can do stuff like that and just like that his entire army is annihilated and I have and I still I lost only 70,000 troops and he lost like 700,000 so yeah that's and I had a lot less troops as well so here we're just using my artillery this is this is the easiest part your goal is with this main force not even with your tanks but with this main force you want to take out Berlin so you want to use your artillery to like support on the back because he's just spamming most I feel like most players Germany players do not play like this but he's just spamming and spamming troops because they usually like use all their troops for that and they rush it and then they run out of manpower or they already attack Czechoslovak well this would be the Czech Republic or in Austria so yeah, so we did it again here, but he, this time I wasn't that stacking, I was barely entrenched. But no, this time I was that tracking, that, yeah, stacking, but I was barely entrenched. But he had less troops, and I had twice as much troops, and I had t artillery support in the back. I wish he showed you how much artillery he had there, that would be nice. And because of that, he loses all those troops. I ally with Sweden because that could be dangerous and I just send my my tanks to rush these major cities the major cities of Germany here are these these three they're like t like three like 2.5 million cities right next to each other million population cities right next to each other take out those and then these those are the major cities right there you want to take out so yeah after you take Berlin he usually gives up and then yeah, you can just um, you can just make your troops. Wait, wait, wait! You can just make all your troops just uh, all just attack Germany, right? What I did there, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, the reason I wait, wait, this is why I didn't that sack that much, cause you see, I can get like at least like 50, around fifty thousand troops. That's a good, pretty good number. And this is early game. This is like with no technology because the ground just started. And yeah, this that's basically how you do it. After this point of the war, you be, it's really not that difficult to play. If you just strategize, and it's a part of uh, getting better. If you just strategize, you can do pretty well. You can take out Russia. You can take out China. You can flank um, Beijing and scorch it and then make China collapse. Um, if you or smart with uh russia you can put like troops you can put like tanks like in siberia and then make like a big distraction here with like i don't know like eight hundred thousand troops he can rush your main force he can do the same strategy we did here he can lose his main force we can send that force all the way to moscow and then on the back of russia be getting annihilated by our um army so yeah it's it's just learning how to play and playing around and eventually Germany falls. This was, I guess this is an average speed for me. Because I can get this to like November. But I just started playing again. And uh, I guess I'm not that good. But yeah, yeah. And then you just, that, that, and that. 
We don't do make puppet state or liberate countries because we did conquest. If you want to do stuff like liberate countries, as it says there, you have to do the liberation. But it's not really worth it at all unless you're playing like against China. Because it basically makes like, Germany only has one releasable, China has like 50. So yeah. And puppet state, it's pretty, puppets are pretty bad in this game. It's really never worth it. And there's, there's a... A declaration you can't and if you do conquest you can't make a puppet state so it's kind of odd so yeah that's that's basically it um this stream strategy applies for a lot of things really and it's pretty useful it's i guess the main strategy I, everything that i do usually revol revolves around there and i guess flanking and outsmarting flanking is basically when you like sip i guess like put troops like Let's say there's a big army here and my army was here. I send a portion of my army over there to the back and then we combine and then we take them out on Moscow, something like that. Other things is like doing this, the faster you do it, the better of a chance you have. Like the faster you attack certain people, maybe for this fight, doing it fast wouldn't help you, but you just, it's speed. Like I was going pretty fast at the beginning, how I did everything. Like, kind of. Okay, I thought it was. But, yeah, you just want to do everything pretty fast. And if you can minimize the time spending setting up your army, if you can do it in, like, 30 seconds, you're pretty set. And that's basically it. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll probably answer them. And, yeah. See ya.